Joining me now to discuss the impact of this new law, Kentucky Planned Parenthood Director Tamara Weeder. Ms. Weeder, thank you so much for joining us. And as we just heard, this law took effect immediately. So what was the situation at your two clinics today? Sure, so Planned Parenthood operates one of the two clinics. There's also an independent abortion provider, EMW. Uh, none of us were able to provide care today, and we still have not received any uh, emergency relief from the courts. So it looks like tomorrow will be another day without abortion care in the Commonwealth. With these restrictions, this law put in place, what would it take for you to be able to reopen? Uh, that is a really good question. There are so many um, barriers to reopening uh, from this omnibus anti-abortion package. The state doesn't even have forms or protocols in place so that we can comply. This is going to be a months long process, I think before we can even see how on paper uh, for the state, we would be able to comply to these brand new bills. Okay, and even before today, there were limited resources in Kentucky for women seeking abortion. What's their closest option now? Sure, so depending where you are in Kentucky, uh, it may be closer for you to go to Tennessee um, or uh, Indiana long term, because we do anticipate that Roe v. Wade will fall this summer. Uh, for Kentucky, it would be Illinois after that. So right now, um, we are supporting our patients at Planned Parenthood to get the care that they legally and are constitutionally afforded their right um, in Indiana. Okay, and I understand you were at the state capitol when this legislature voted. Paint the scene for us. What was that reaction? It was a long day. We had um, about 10 hours of our supporters on the ground with us uh, as the bill moved its way uh, through the override process in both the House and the Senate chambers. Uh, people stayed with us from 10.30 uh, in the morning until about 8 o'clock last night. Uh, they were resolved uh, that uh, nobody uh, voting on these bills could do it without accountability. We had our voices heard ringing through the chambers, and we uh, tried to have conversations with legislators in hopes to change their votes last minute. Um, but most of the legislators ran past us with their heads down uh, as they were uh, leaving the chambers. And I know you talked about people that are seeking this kind of care going to other states to receive it, but tell us about Planned, Parent Planned Parenthood's plans uh, in Kentucky specifically going forward? Well, going forward right now, we can't provide care. I mean, this bill has effectively banned abortion in Kentucky. And so right now our doors are open, of course, to family planning services um, and education. Uh, and now navigation, it's, it's navigation to support our patients in crossing state lines. All right, Tamara Weider, we really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.